All right, so today I'm um, fixing a tappet clearance issue on a Lotus Twin Cam, and uh, I'm going to start by getting all the inserts out, which I've already done. Um, the problem you get with these and jags is that when you cut the seat um, time and time again, just from the cylinder heads being in use for so long and getting valve grinds, um, the valve eventually starts going through sort of. This valve here is just an old valve that I've welded in there, but you can see effect effectively the valve does start sinking into the insert. Um, the insert loses its height, and then you lose the area at the end of the valve for a tappet clearance shim. Um, so I'm planning on putting some uh, new valve seat inserts into this thing. Um, on the right is like a standard size for like a late model Japanese engine. They're about 8mm thick. This one here would have started life at probably about 10 mil, and on the left here is a uh, 9.5 mil high insert. So I will be fitting a full set of these thicker inserts. Um, also, just here you can see that bevel there is from all the valve grinds. So. Uh, once upon a time this head left the factory, that wasn't there, it just went straight to the side of the insert. It probably would have looked like this, but um, that's what you've got now after all the machining. Um, so I'm going to hopefully weld around all of those in the head so we can start fresh again. So I've finished welding around all the insert holes, um, so now it's just a matter of um, giving them a bit of a peen, that just helps harden the alloy. Um, and then it'll start machining out to fit the new inserts. So I've just got the head in the VGS and I'm just about to um, start cutting some new insert holes. So I've got the insert holes all cut now and um, these are the inserts that we started off with. Um, you can see them way too big. Um, so I've machined a set down. You can see how much smaller they are. That's just to um, allow me to take the minimal amount of um, OD out of the sawn head for where the insert and the insert seat. Um, we want as much material in around that um, insert as we can possibly get. Um, same sort of goes for the exhaust, that's the what we started off with and down here, that's what we've got, I've just had the inserts in the freezer, so they're nice and cool and I've just heated the head up with the um, LPG, so time to put some uh, inserts in. So I've got all the inserts in, um, I've just used, this is our insert installer, so obviously I just hit that in with a hammer and it knocks them in. They've got a 5 thou crush, so they're definitely not coming out. So the next um, plan of attack is just to tidy up all around here, and um, then we'll be ready to cut some seats. Uh, the chambers have all been um, tidied up now, so it's just time to go back and cut some seats and a surface and set some tablets and the head will be back to its original form of glory. Seats are all cut now so uh, it's good to get that sorted. So I've finished stoning the seats, you can see that's just the polished, if the camera will zoom in, that's the polished portion of the seat, that's been where the valve contacts the seat and I've stoned it with a, a stone just to get a nice polished finish. Um, now it's just a matter of going and doing the tappets and uh, assembly. Just got the lotus head uh, all finished, tappets are all set. The valves are all in, chambers are all done. So it's all ready to go back on. <laughs> 